Hello guys, welcome you all. In this video, we are learning how exactly we block any spam email from Office 365 admin portal. To follow that, please stay tuned and please watch the complete video. Here, to block any email address, what do you need is, you need a admin credentials to block any spam email. Suppose uh, the scenario is to make it even more clear. The scenario is any clients, uh, if they uh, log a case saying that so they are uh, frequently receiving a spam email. So, what you gonna do is so you need to log into your admin Office 365 admin portal going to any of the web browser. Basically, I prefer going to any incognito mode or in private uh, session. Once you open that, so you basically follow office365.com or office.com once you log into the office.com so what you have to do is click on sign in so once you click on sign in you have to log in with your admin account once you enter admin username and password so click on sign in so then uh, you'll get authentication pop-up so just click on yes so this is how it looks uh, for all the users basically so this is the office 365 page for all the users uh, this is the web page basically how it looks and uh, the only change uh, we have as an administrator is that so we have something called as admin option which is additional but it is really really vast so once you click on that admin uh, option so this is where it will be redirected this is an admin uh, page where you can manage all your users or a uh, client's email access or uh, anything which is related to the email for users so once you have this click on exchange once the exchange admin center is open right so there you'll be able to see the classic exchange admin center you have to click on that so once your classic admin uh, exchange admin center is loaded so the next very next option is click on protection so once you click on protection so this is where we uh, i mean block any uh, spam email address right we block any malware filter so we block any connection filter spam filter outbound spam so we quarantine mails and here the scenario is so user or client they are reporting that they are frequently receiving a spam email in this case we have to basically block uh, that email address going to spam filter and you'll be having a policies which will be created by default either you can do it from there and if not you have to basically create a policy so then you have to block it and here as i have activated the anti spam settings page so i will navigate to anti spam page so this will be even more secure and once you click on that this is where it will be redirected to so policies and rules here inside once you click on this policies and rules and there will be options again so here this is a threat policy so i'll be navigating to threat policy here we have option called we have multiple options basically so we have to block a spam email so that's the reason this is where i'll be navigating it to yes it is loaded now so here we are receiving the spam email that means it's a inbound so that's the reason we have to navigate it to inbound policy so once you navigate once you just click on inbound policies this is this is where i mean you'll be able to you have to completely scroll down so until you see allowed or and blocked senders and domains so once you are able to see that this is where you'll be blocking the email address edit allowed and blocked senders and domains blocked option sender just click on this manage so once you click on this manage so you have option called add senders so just click on that once you click on that you have to basically add the spam email which you are or users are receiving it so just copy i have i already have the spam email so i'm just pasting it here 
so in this section you you are supposed to add complete email address so once you add complete email address just click on that email address and then it will be added so then click on add sender and once the uh, email is added just click on done basically we added a email now and then we have to click on block domain under block domain we what we gonna do is instead of adding a complete email address so we have to add only domain domain as in after so while you enter suppose if uh, to be a more uh, clear so if the email address is 1234 at the rate gmail.com so basically 1234 at you will remove it and gmail.com is a domain so just remove 1234 at and gmail just keep gmail.com for now I have added a domain and click on that domain then it will be added so then add domain the only difference between the sender and domains is like in senders you will be adding an email and in domain you will be adding only domain so basically you are getting a spam mail from which domain so gmail.com right once you block gmail.com here so either 12345 either so whoever user who will be sending a spam mail from gmail.com domain so that will be blocked here so once you block the domain so then you'll be more safe so if you only add email address so only 12345 at the rate gmail.com will be added into block list suppose if 678910 so that user will try to send you the spam email so you'll be you'll be getting that email address why because you didn't block it in the domain account right so this is what the major difference is and this is how you block the spam email address going to your admin exchange center and navigating it to anti-spam page right and once this is done just click on save and it will be done and you are successfully blocked a spam email so in this video you basically learned how exactly we block any spam email going to admin center and navigating it to exchange center then navigating it to anti-spam page so this is all it for today's video hope you like it if you like it please always share subscribe and hit a like button guys thank you so much have a great day guys